Well, good day, mechanics. Welcome back to Farm Mechanics Simulator. You guys seem to be enjoying these videos, so we're going to keep on going here. Um, see what percentage are we at? 46. We went up a bit from last time. I think we we're 33. So, um, oh, we're almost into. You know what? Oh, we had 50 com career missions, so we're almost to. The next garage, but I'm sure we changed garages last time because it looked different to me, anyways. So let's continue on here. All right, so this one was number 36. We'll do another 10, I guess, today. And missions. And um, this client is reporting need for injection pump to be replaced. Help him. Injection pump. Ooh, that sounds expensive. So, uh, that'll be uh, motor stuff, no doubt, in here somewhere. Injection pump, I think, is down here. Water pump, injection pump. Ooh, expensive. <laughs> let's check these. Whoa, let's check these lines. Oh, come on. Check these lines while we're here. They're all right. All right, take the injection pump off. And how much did they how much did they allot us for this? Five hundred and sixty dollars. That's a big repair. Uh, boy, boy, this mouse. I'm telling you, four hundred and forty-eight dollars to repair it. How much for a new one? Uh, 560 no um, that's how much they gave us for a, a new one but I think we'll fix it we'll save a little bit of cash repaired can't believe it all right assembly mode and those lines there we go well that was an easy one out you go. Back to the field, Johnny. Johnny, dear. All right. Next. What do we got? Combine? Combine. Oh, tractor. Tricked ya. Okay. For the necessary elements, the client is reporting that when driving over bumpy roads, the machine makes a horrible noise. Find and fix the cause of the problem. See, I'd like to be able to take that for a test drive. But you can't. It's making a horrible noise driving over the road. So something up here is all wore out. We'll do a bit of checking first. That looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. Oh. That's not a good thing. Just check everything here while we're here. Oh, that's not too good either. Check that. I'm presuming there's probably a bearing gone, but who knows. Ah, see? Another bad part. Check right to there. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so we need some new parts. A little bit of disassembly for this one to get these parts out. Whoa, where am I going? we have wrong over here. I don't know if we take it quite so far apart. Maybe I'll just get this off. 
Yeah, I think everything else over here was good. Okay, let's see what we can repair. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's it. Quick and easy. Swivel arm. Okay, that's it for that side. This whole side, unfortunately, had to come apart. Good. I wonder if we're faster with the wrench on the next garage. And there we go. I don't think I got any parts left. Let's see here. Repaired. Out you go. See, that should have had a test drive for the steering aspect of it, but okay. All right. What do we got next? A little red tractor. Number 38. Uh, the client is asking for repair and all worn elements of the engine. Oh, boy, this might get expensive. $970. Oh, boy. Well, we got some checking to do. Oh, water pump's no good. Oh, that thing's good. That's good because that's an expensive part. Belt's junk there. We'll just check everything. You never know, right? You never know what's wrong. Now, I don't know if there's problems in those injectors. Oh, that's not a good thing in there, so, uh, we're going to take these both off and inspect under there. That cover's not good, so I'm presuming there's probably some fishy in here. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness, what is going on? Valves. Too bad you can't get into valves. Okay, so there's a bad part there. So let's remove. Oh no. Oh wow, we got rid of the cylinders there. See that? Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> no, I want to. Oh come on, disassemble mode. Okay, we'll do some more check in here. Parts no good. And I'm willing to bet battery. Oh, the lines are bad too there. Battery is good. Oh, well then, there we go. Okay, I think we got every engine part here. So let's start removing. Just that line. What else? 
so we didn't check that line. Oop. And we didn't check. No, come on. Didn't check the muffler, but it's probably fine. Alright, that's all I can see right there. Let's go see what we can repair. So, there is some parts. The injector we're going to need. One glow plug, sorry. There was something else that we were missing, too. I'm going to have to put some of this back together. That's good. We need a belt for that guy, though. Timing belt. Okay. Timing belt. Yes. I think one of the lines I'm going to need to... Um, Timing belt. And that injector can go back in. Can't fix them. Covers can go on. It's good, I think it was these lines. No, they're fine. Fuel filter was good. Fuel lines. Yeah, they were bad. Okay, so we need fuel lines. Can't fix those. Engine... Cables, fuel lines, yes. There we go. On the other side here, fuel lines. All right, let's get rid of some of our parts here. Stuff we can't fix, we might as well sell. Batteries junk. Alright, is that all good? We repaired. That wasn't too bad of a job. Kinda like that one actually. Engine parts. I wish we could get into more engine parts, you know, pistons and rings and valves and lapping valves in and that'd be kinda cool. Honing out cylinders and stuff like that. But Alright, Combine. The client is asking the axle be replaced. Ooh. Repair the axle, perform a test drive. Wow, that's an expensive one. <laughs> okay, what axle is it? Uh... <clears throat> I don't know which one it's going to be, but... Not there. Could be something in the running of the machine, too. Ah, there it is. That's an expensive part. That's a lot of a lot of wheels are not nuts on that. So we gotta take this guy out. Once it replaced or repaired, maybe. I wonder if we can do a repair on it. Okay, let's have a look at her here. Uh, front axle for a combine. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, where are we here? Over here. <clears throat> front axle for a combine. Let's see how much it costs first. 
combine front axles, $2,500. Can we repair that thing at all? Yeah, we saved a bit of money. $2,500 for that. Holy. And the big hub, and the big front wheel, and the 1,500 nuts. And that stabilizer bar, too. Got to go back in. All right, that wasn't too bad. Are we fixed? Ooh, we're not fixed. Oh, perform a test drive. Oh, okay. Darn test drives. Well, we've been doing pretty good today. <laughs> Until now, we got a test drive, but uh, that's all right. I don't like test driving these things. It takes a lot of driving for these. They don't turn too well, I guess. That turn I don't like. Never make it. I don't know why. Maybe I turn in too late. There we go. Test drive is done. Thirty-nine repair. Okay, we should get our new shop now. I think it was fifty or forty. Sorry, forty. What am I thinking? Let's see what happens. What happens? What happens? We get a new shop? Do we? Do we? Oh, I don't know. It looks the same to me. Uh, let's just go out out for a second to the main menu, and uh, I just want to see if that unlocked. Um, play. Oh, fifty career missions. Okay, I was wrong. All right, well, we'll keep going here. We've got ten more to do. Okay, the client is asking for an inspection of the exhaust system. The system is very noisy, which suggests it may have a leak. I would guess probably so. Probably your muffler there, bud. Yep. And we'll check. Oh, we can't check the actual manifold there. We can check this one. And we'll check all this stuff right around here. Can't check the exhaust manifold though, which is kind of weird. Let's check your battery while you're here. That's all good. Twenty kilometer bolts, apparently. Holy but Alright, see we can weld that up, I think. Two hundred and thirty eight dollars to weld it. My goodness.
All right, quick and easy, and out you go. All right, that wasn't so bad at all. Quick and easy jobs are nice. All right, check the elements of the elevator mechanism. I guess that's the three-point hitch. And repair individual elements. Client says that the elevator doesn't work, so try to solve the problem. Elevator doesn't work. That's hilarious. That's different, I guess. Well, we'll start checking the elevator elements here. Well, that's not a good start. That one's okay. We'll check all these, too. That one's good. That side seems like it's all good. These parts, too. Oh, that's not good. Red is dead. And we'll check that. I think that's all good. Okay, so we got a link. Nothing else to check here. We got a link here, and looks like the little piston guy over here. Stupid spring. And the link here. And I think everything else was good. Okay, let's see where what we can do here. Repair, repair. That should do her, I think. Yeah, everything else looks good. Man, it's hard to select that. All right. Out you go. A nice little short repair, aren't they? Well, I wasn't watching what number we were at, but here comes another combine. <laughs> Let's see what we're at. 42. Okay, well, well, we'll go to 50. Get the new workshop today. How about that? Okay, a client is complaining about the grain elevator not working properly. Find out fix and cause the problem. Check the elements of the grain elevator and make necessary repairs. Oh, that's a different one. Might be under here. I don't know. Grain elevator drive wheel. Oh, that's not good there. Probably the belt, too. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, that's not good either. Oh, we might have some disassembly in this one. All right, that stuff's all good. Uh, what about this box? It's going to check everything here, I think. Alright, I think that's all the parts for this side. There's more mechanism over here, but I don't think it has anything to do with this side. Let's, uh, yeah, this is the green elevator side, so, okay, so we'll presume it's this side here. So we gotta get probably a lot of stuff off of here. Let's see how much disassembly we gotta do here. So get that off to get the. Yeah, we're going to take all this off, I think. 
Major labor on this one. Okay, now we should get that gear off. See, there's another gear on. Oh, well, okay. I guess that's. Uh, oh, yeah, that's fine, anyways. Okay. Guess we gotta take that piece up. It's kinda open, I didn't have to, but that's okay. Oh, she comes. Now we should be able to get. Access to this. Why do I have to take that off to get this off? That's weird. Okay, that should be all the parts, and there's not much left. Let's see what we can repair. What uh, was our repair? 490, so it's not a whole lot. So we'll repair that. Okay, let's put her back together now. I might actually have to take this piece off again here. Oh, maybe not. At least it shows us kind of what has to go on next, because, holy man, I don't remember. I don't have a manual in front of me or a, you know, shop manual for this. <laughs> I wouldn't have any clue. belt and the wheel and this little wheel and the belt do I have any parts left? no, nope, that should be it And repaired! Out you go, Combine. That was a lot of stuff to take off there just to get those little parts, but uh, that's what you gotta do, I guess. Okay. That's 43. The Kleiner's reporting problems with a sliding clutch. Help him fix this problem. Oh, that's a big disassembly. $290. Can't be much wrong with it, but... Um, uh, clutch. Now, we have to put it up, I think. Uh, yes. Oh, but there's all this stuff here we gotta take off first. I can't even tell the condition of that. Oh, it's 29% though. So, we gotta get, I think, all this arm off here first. And maybe this guy out of here at the cab. I think there's a lot to this one. Let's just see here. Yeah, so we're going to have to take a little bit more apart first. So let's put her back down.
That's gotta come off. Well, you know, you just take this joint off here and drop that rod down. Um. Oh, no. Where's that other part? Just gone now. Oh, I lost it. Hmm. Well, that must be... There we go. Yeah, this is going to have to all come off of here. Splitting a tractor, splitting a tractor. Okay, now she can go up. There we go, 1,500,000 bolts. One at the top that's real hard to get out. Out you go, tranny. Okay, let's see here. Let's do some more condition checking. Oh, it's in rough shape. I think some of those parts are fine. I just take them all out anyways. Uh, what do we got here? So grinding clutch disc is bad. And the pusher plate. Don't think those are things that we can repair. That'd be just wore out. Yeah. So we need to buy. Tractor. Is it mechanism maybe? No, that's the lift on the back. Probably engine. Pusher plate and grinding disc. Pusher plate, yes. Not a clutch basket. Grinding disc. Huh. Pusher plate. Grinding clutch disc. Grinding clutch disc. Why is that not in here? Uh oh. There it is. That is in the wrong category. Oh, did I get the right pusher plate though? I think so. Okay. Well, let's get under here. We got our new parts delivered and we will assemble. Clutch basket. Grinding clutch plate, clutch discs, make sure I'm putting all the good parts on there. Yeah, actually that's while we're out here, let's get rid of the junk one so I don't mistakenly put them back in. Pusher plate, and the transmission. Right in the oil pan there. Awesome. All right. 
Now, we've got to put the rest of them back together. We'll put her back down. Starting the cab, I guess, here. Assembly mode. Too bad that's all mounted to the transmission. We wouldn't have to take that apart like that, but that's okay. Steering column. And a button. And we gotta put this steering arm back on. And should be good. Repaired. Alright, the next one here is uh, client can't handle the problem with the oil leak. Help him. Find the cause of the oil leak in the engine. Refill the oil. Ooh. Cause of the oil leak, eh? Uh, okay. Oil pan leaking there, but can't check that from here, really. Guess I gotta put it up for that. Uh, okay, well. Let's just start checking things, I guess. Probably a line or something somewhere. We'll just check everything. Not gonna be the water pump, but you never know. Willing to bet it's probably the oil pan. Willing to bet. Um, I think we got to put it up for that. No, it's not. Hmm. But the plug. Aha! That's all it is, is the plug. Okay, well, we got to get our Oil floor thingy catcher way over here. Stuck. Stuck. What the heck? So we'll let that drip out while we uh, look at this oil cap. New gasket. That's good. Pull that out of the way. That's good. And we'll put this guy back on. I keep getting stuck there. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, we got to put some oil in it now. Now I can't remember where. <laughs> Let's see, is it actually empty? Oh, it is too. Okay. Um, where the heck was the oil, oil filler on this thing? I keep, I don't do many of them, I guess, so I kind of forget. That's water. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Fuel tank. That's a weird plot, spot for a fuel tank. I think it's right there. Yeah. 
Motor oil. Let's check the stick. Ah, pretty good. All right. Out you go. That was a simple fix. Just had to find it. I knew it was something. Oil pan, oil plug, but it ended up being the plug. All right, Klein is reporting a fuel pump malfunction. Replace with a new one. Fuel pump. So it'll be engine fuel pump. Probably that there. We'll check all this though here. The lines, filters. Yeah, it's just that pump then. Okay, let's see. Can we repair it? He wanted a new one, but... Two, yeah. So we should be able to repair that. Good. Oil pipes. All right. Oh, something fuel. This is a new one. Missed something. Oh, do they need a test drive? Yeah, test drive. Test drive. <laughs> really? Okay. Okay. Here we go. I hate test driving these things. They're <laughs> terrible. But we'll do her. See if I can do this turn a little better this time. There we go. All right, test drive is over. Seemed to run good. So that's good. All right, 45 is repaired. Yeah, we'll go to 49. Maybe we'll do 50, because then we'll get our new garage. But maybe we'll go to 49, and then we'll leave 50 for next time. Oh, that'd be sneaky, wouldn't it? Another combine. Oh, combine, really? Uh, the client is reporting that the... That the lean on the grain shaker is not working properly. Fix the problem. Repair the grain shaker system. Hmm. Okay. Tailgate. And this is elevator, so it's probably the other side. Grain shaker system. Grain elevator. Okay. The sh shaker system is actually probably back here. Oh, there's nothing back there for me to access. Okay. Engine. Green elevator. Yeah, there's nothing up there to access. Well, there's a cabin. We've not done nothing in the cabin of these yet. There's nothing in there, really, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess we got to start looking. Uh, the shaker should be right in here, but... It's part of it all here, I guess. Big shaker belt. Oh, it seems all right. Okay. 
Okay. Probably something in here. This is actually the blower, I think, here, the fan. dead part. And how buried is that going to be? <laughs> Let's just check all these belts here too. There's so many of them. Alright, everything else seems good. Let's see what we got to do to get that. We've got to get that off. Get these belts all off. Okay, let's see what was so 350, so it's probably nothing major big. That thing's probably that price anyways. Looks like a hydraulic cylinder or something. Shaker actuator, yes. Okay. Hopefully that's all it is. Lots of belts go wrong. Stretch out. Um, no, I got more parts than that, don't I? Maybe that's it. Repaired. <laughs> okay. All right. That wasn't too bad. Oh, Johnny's back in. Oh, Johnny. Client is reporting. Um, problem with starting the engine. After a cold night, find out, fix the cause of the problem. Glow plugs. Glow plugs. Guaranteed. Probably going to take these covers off and check there, but we'll check the wiring here, too. Injection pump. No, it's probably glow plugs. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, there's glow plugs here. Sorry. Okay, condition check. Mr. Glow plug. Yeah, that one's no good. That one's good. That one's good, and this one's probably bad. Oh, just one bad. Interesting. Okay, we can't fix those. I don't. Remember, no. So we've got to buy a new glow plug engine. Glow plugs. Fixer, fixer, cool. All right, what do I got next here? Another combine. We've done lots of combines lately. So this is forty-eight. Client is reporting a problem with the rear axle. Find the problem, help him fix it. Perform a test on the test drive. Replace damage elements. So we got to do a test drive first. Problem with the rear axle, that's interesting. I wonder if we'll have a problem steering it or something. Probably won't be any different than normal, but I don't know. They want you to test drive it anyway, so.
Oh, she's pulling pretty hard to the right. That's doing that on its own. There's me steering. Something wrong. You can see the wheels turn quite a bit, so. What'd you hit there, bud? Steering does not work properly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good to go. So, that's going to be an expensive repair by the looks of things. So let's get in here and do... Probably that cylinder. Oh, it's not that cylinder. It's that part. That's the expense. Ooh, boy. Ooh, expensive. Everything else is good except the axle, main axle, rear axle, 18%, and that right linker, so they call it. Total disassemble, I guess, to get that axle out of there. So that's what we'll do. Let's see what we can repair. It's ooh, expensive. I wonder how much that axle is actually worth. And this will be the heavy part. got a, a hitch on it too there heavy duty part all right so let's see what that axle's worth uh, combine 3500 we've only got 3630 so let's see what we can repair here I guess everything else should be good Wow, that's expensive. The super long bolts. Nice, you can access both of these sides from uh, from here. You don't have to open up the other side, if you know what I mean. And the left linker. Right linker? Left linker. Left linker. And the steering bar. All right, that was a big expensive repair. She is done. 48 is over. Okay, into 49. Maybe we'll go to 50. We'll make her an even 50 today. Like we'll finish 50. Uh, replace the filters. Client is asking for primary and throughout cleaner filters to replace. Okay. I can't remember which ones those are now. I think they're over on the other side here, though. Or 
probably these things. Primary filter. Throughout filter. The lines. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do a repair. Oh, can't repair them. Okay. So engine throughout filter. Primary filter. Okay, how much did we get for that? 200. So we're not going to make any money on this one. All right. Oh, no, I put the wrong one back in there. There we go. Better not put the dirty filter back in. That wouldn't be so good. All right. Out you go. Okay, we'll do one more here. And just to get our new garage. Job number 50. Client is complaining about an precise operation of the steering transmission. Find out the problem for our name repair. Replace the damage elements the steering system. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, that's not a good part. The rest will be all right. We'll even check the button for him. Uh, let's check. this rod here too. I think that's all we're gonna need, but we're gonna have to take this guy off to get that guy off. Okay, let's see if we can repair that. Yes, we can. That's good. We'll go here and put this bar back in. And that should be it for number 50. All right, there we go. Well, that's it for today. Let's see if we get into our new shop here. Does it tell us anything or? Hello. <gasps> the new shop with the grimy old combine backing in. All right, so that's 51. We'll just look at this one and we'll head her out for today. Client is reporting that the combine is not threshing the grain. Help him solve the problem. That sounds like a big job. All right, there's our new garage. Anyway, it looks pretty much the same, only a little nicer floor. Guess you can't put the combine in here. Okay, too heavy for it. But yeah, there's our new garage. So yeah, that's it. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. And happy mechanicin'.